YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gal. And today, we have a massive goodies unboxing today. Today, of the things that I inquired over the week, uh, during the week, and this week and last week. Some uh, I got from the store while I was in Florida. I'm going to show you those things. Um, and some things came in the mail while I was out of town and the week before. So, with no further ado, we're going to get right into the video. We're going to start off with some of the stuff that's already uh, unboxed and sitting on the table. First, I want to start off with these Power Hobby 9000 milliamp 120C 7.6 volt high voltage batteries. These are going in my drag cars, my drag slash, and my low C22S. They are awesome. They're high voltage, they're 7.6 volts, and they're 120C burst. And oh, I'm sorry, 240C burst and 120C continuous. 240C burst. I know y'all not gonna be able to see that, but it's 240C burst and 120C continuous. So these are awesome batteries. They will be running in my drag cars. Next up, I have a Castle B Link. This also will be going in my Traxxas Drag Slash. This is a Traxxas B Link. This is my first one of these. I've been wanting to try one, so I finally was able to get one. So, and this came from uh, Mike, my Michael's Hobby in uh, Orlando, Florida. All right, next up, we have the SR. 515 spectral receiver. We have one, two, two of those, and we also have a 315. Uh, so this is a three channel, and uh, the 515s are five channels. So got those two, I mean those three. Next up, um, I have the Hobby Wing XR8 Plus 150 amp ESC. This is a race ESC. Over that light, I don't wanna get too much light in y'all face. All right, you, uh, this is a race ESC, 150 amps. You have to solder the leads on. And I also have the 20, I already took this out of the box. The 2200 KV, this is a Gen 3. This is a Gen 3 2200 KV race motor. So uh, I'm thinking about putting this on, putting this whole setup on my Techno um, ET48 2.0 and pull that basher setup out of there and put it into my, um, my MT410 Techno. So there he is with that. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with that just yet, but I'm gonna do something with it. Next up, let's get into this box. This box open, baby. See what's in the box. Alrighty. I'll put these to the side. I won't show them just yet. Sit in there. Get one of the bags open. All right. These are the RF. I mean the R7 FG for the um, for the uh, Radio Link RC6G uh, remote. I'm putting these all into my uh, speed run and drag cars. Um, so I got three more. I have two already over there. And I just ordered three more of them for the rest of my uh, speed run slash drag vehicles. So I have enough for all of them. Well, all of them will be on one remote. Let's keep it moving. Next up. We have a spur gear, plastic spur gear, Traxxas for my drag slash. And we have pinion gears. Uh, I think it's a 21 all the way up to a, a 48 pitch. It's a 21 up to a 26. To a 25, I'm sorry. From a 21 to a 25, this will also be for the drag slash. 
these out of the way. All right. Next up, we have the 5700 Copperhead Sensor Motor ESC Combo. This is a 5700. The, uh, the, the, the ESC does from 2 to 4S, so I'm thinking that it is a 120 amp ESC. You know, Castle, a lot of times they don't put the amperage on their uh, on their paperwork. They just tell you whether it's, um, you know, what the S is. What, what, what it goes from, this goes from 2S to 4S. This is the new Copperhead system. Um, this will also be going into my drag slash. So I have the spur gear, I have the pinion gear, I have the motor, and I have the ESC, and this motor runs sensor. So I will not get that cogging off the line. So all that will be going into my drag slash. That I will be probably putting this in tonight. I'm not going to do a video, but I'm going to put it in tonight. Next up, I have another copperhead uh, combo from Castle. This is the 3800 KV. This is the 3800 KV. I only bought this setup because I couldn't find the ESC single. I really just wanted this ESC out of here. So this motor, this 3800, I'm just gonna hold on to it just in case like one of my Traxxas cars, uh, motor burn up or, or you know, I'm, I just wanna get a little bit more out of it because I think the Valenium is a 3500 and this is a 3800. So I'll use this motor for that. But I really just needed this ESC because I'm gonna put this ESC is sensor. I have a 5700 KV on my on my um, Traxxas Fortec, and it cogs because the um, the motor is sensor, but the ESC is not sensor. So it I um I get a little cogging. So I will be putting this ESC on there, and it should run much smoother. So let's get that out of the way. Let's get on into these last couple bags. Um, I got the Proline Badland 2.8. Uh, these are the short course truck tires. Well, they say it's Stampede four wheel drive, but to me they look like a short course truck wheel. So I will be running this on one of my short course trucks. Um, probably going to be on my Sentence 6S. Uh, I probably will be running these on my Sentence 6S, but these are the ones for the Stampede. So they only come with the 12 millimeter hex. So what I did was, oh, here it is, it only comes with the 12 millimeter hex. I have one open already. I'll show y'all what the tire looks like. There it is. Nice, nice. I hope, it, I hope they can hold up to 6S, but we will see. But it comes with the 12 millimeter hexes. So I, and, uh, on my Sensen is a 17 millimeter uh, uh, hex. So what I did was ordered the Pro Line. These came from Amazon. I ordered the Proline 17 millimeter hex that fits right into the same slots where you can do the 12 millimeter or the uh, 17 millimeter. Um, so I ordered these for that. So let me get all this stuff back together like it's supposed to go. And uh, that, that and that's for you guys if you ever want if you ever strip out any of your Proline the newer Proline tires to have the hex that you have to put on yourself. If you ever strip them out, they do sell them. Let me see. Let me see if I can get y'all a part number. Part number is 6336-00. And that is the part number for the Hex. For the... Um, any of the Proline tires that you want to use the 70. The newer tires that comes with the Hex that you that you lock in. And they also make these in aluminum is you, if you want to order them as well. And I think these was like $8 or $9.00. And they are the extended ones. They come with a shorter version or extended one. So I got the extended, the extended ones that I'm going to use for my Sentence Success. And last but not least, we have the Proline Badland Truggy Tires, man. These are 17 millimeter hex. These are some hard tires to find. Um, I have a set on my Max. Um... But these tires right here are hard to find. I don't even really know what I'm going to put these on yet. But the fact that I saw them at the hobby shop, I had to grab them. Um, I got these from Graves Hobby in, uh, in Florida as well. Graves Hobby. So, yep, I actually got another set of these. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to put them on just yet. But they were in the hobby shop, so I said I got to grab them just to, you know what I'm saying, have them on standby. 
So I have a full set. Four. Yep. So that's all the stuff that I inquired over the last week or two. Um, I just wanted to get out here in the shop and do me a quick video. I'm just getting back home. Just getting back home. Not even two hours ago, and I'm already doing a video. But uh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. You do. And I'm in it.